Electron Motors just unveiled their 2020 vehicle models, and now they've got customers coming into their showrooms, wanting to test drive those vehicles, and also giving them information about the kind of features that they're interested in. Now, the team doesn't have a good way of tracking all this, and what they've done is they've just created this spreadsheet, and they're trying to capture those details in this spreadsheet. But this is quickly getting out of hand. What they really need is an app. And using the Salesforce platform, we're going to make that happen. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to get started by turning that spreadsheet into an app. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called Object Creator to do exactly that. So how does this work? Well, first, we're going to upload that spreadsheet. This tool is going to inspect all the data and columns in that spreadsheet and make its best guess about the kind of field types that it sees, but we also have the ability to override that. So in this case, let's just say if we wanted this to be a pick list instead of a text box, we could easily make that change. We can also preview the data that's just about to be imported, and once we feel comfortable with all of this, we can click Next. So here we can give our app and our new object a name. And in this case, we're just gonna call it vehicles and then choose the kind of Salesforce features that we want this new app to inherit. And then we can click finish. Now a, really, a lot of really great stuff is happening right now. So this tool is now extending Salesforce with a brand new concept, the concept of a vehicle. And then it's also creating all the field types from those columns we saw in the spreadsheet and then importing all of that data. And once this is done, let me show you what happens. So it creates something called an object inside of Salesforce. So the, here you're looking at this vehicle object that got created. Now you can think of this a bit like a database table. It's just a place to store and manage data. But unlike a database table, what we get by simply teaching Salesforce about this brand new concept is a fully modern app that the team can now click into. So we can now click into vehicles and see all those vehicles that were previously locked inside of that spreadsheet. Now the team can use an app to capture these details and the kind of vehicles that customers are interested in. And this is an app that comes with so many features, features like permissions and tasks and assignments. It also comes with reporting. So now that this data is inside Salesforce, let me show you how we can use the Salesforce features that are included to start layering on value to this. So first we're gonna create a report and we're gonna click in and click into Analytics Studio. So the team is interested in knowing which US states have the most interest in these vehicles. Now let me show you how easy it becomes for us to create that report. So let's click into vehicles and right away, we're gonna get a report. Now it's not a super useful report, it's just showing us that we have 5,000 some odd vehicles, but we can easily start slicing and dicing this. So let's add a dimension to this. So in this case, I'll search for state and immediately this is gonna transform and now we can start extracting some value from this data that was previously locked inside the spreadsheet. So we can already begin to see that California is the state that we're seeing the most interest from. Now we may not like this visualization and that's okay because we have many other visualization styles to choose from. And in fact, Einstein analytics will also suggest others. So in this case, we could toggle in to a map view and very quickly within a few clicks here, get a heat map that shows us where we're seeing the most interest. And then we can use this tool to also begin creating other reports. So in this case, what I've done is I've created a dashboard. And if I click into that, you'll see it has that report along with a few others that I've created here. And it's not hard to see how valuable this would be to all kinds of different teams, including leadership, as they assess customer demand for these new vehicles. In fact, this looks so valuable to the team that we made it part of their homepage. So if I go back into site of Salesforce, and then I click the home button, you're gonna see we included that dashboard on the homepage experience that they see inside of Salesforce. So it'll be the first thing they see. And then of course they can use that app that we generated from that spreadsheet to begin working with these customers. So you have to remember, we started with this spreadsheet and within a few clicks, now we have a modern app. So we're talking about some of the features and capabilities that we inherited from Salesforce. I've been showing you this on the desktop, but this is also accessible on mobile devices as well. So if I go over here to my iPhone, 
I can tap into the Salesforce mobile app. Right now we're looking at accounts, but if I tap into this sidebar, you're gonna see vehicles is available in the sidebar. And all that same data that we were seeing inside of Salesforce, and all that same data we were seeing in the spreadsheet has now been mobilized, is now accessible on mobile devices. So this is what we get by just extending Salesforce with a brand new concept. So speaking as a developer, I think the objection I would personally have here is like, okay, th this looks great. Like I understand how you generated this automatic app from a spreadsheet. What happens when this app doesn't do something that we needed to do? Like how do we adapt it? How do we customize it? And it's a good question. And this gives us a reason to show some of the low code builder tools that Salesforce comes with. So in this case, I'm going to show you something we call Lightning App Builder to begin customizing this automatically generated app using this visual design surface that you're seeing here. Now, we customize the app using uh, components, which you're seeing on the left, we call these lightning components. So the first thing we'd like to do is give the team a nice little visual overview of where these vehicles sit in the delivery process. So I can just drag and drop that onto the canvas. The next thing we'd like to do is give the team a visual overview of the vehicle, this, the vehicles that customers are interested in. So to make that happen, what I'm going to do is drag and drop a tabs component. That'll give me a new editable region. It's got two tabs by default. I only need one for now. So what I'll do is just change the label on this and call it customize. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is drag and drop this car configurator component. So these components can also be extended. So developers can create their own custom components. So this is how we got this when I worked with a developer to create this component that you're seeing here. So I think those are all the changes I want to make to this for now. So let's go ahead and click save and back. And now if we're working with Daryl on this purchase, we could easily interact with this, very quickly capture his preferences using this component instead of having to type all of this into a spreadsheet. So this has just been one example of how you can take something like a spreadsheet and use the Salesforce platform to turn that into a fully modern app. And although in this demo, we've kind of focused on just test drives, it's worth thinking about all the other departments across an organization and all the spreadsheets or forms or just email threads that they're using to manage processes right now and how you could leverage these same tools to turn those processes into a modern app.